Well, Harry, it feels like it's been a fairly seamless transition for you to come into this team. Um, you must be really pleased as to how quickly you fit in. Yeah, I'm pleased with the start so far. Um, I think it's a credit to to Russ and Lukey how how much time they spent with me at the minute, uh, both on and off the off the pitch. Um, you know, because it's such a the way we play, you need a lot of detail, and for them to stay patient with me and give me all that detail, both on and off, um, has really helped me. Now it's a, a different kind of role that that centre back position that they've got you playing in. Um, how much responsibility is it on you to to be playing in that role? Yes, yeah, different to probably what I was playing at Cambridge, but it's one that I wanted to play, and that's probably why it attracted me to come to the club. To be fair. Um, and I, I, like I said before, I see myself as a ball playing centre half. So I think you know it's a hard system to grasp, but once you know what you're doing, it's you know it make it it feels good to play in and it's enjoyable at the minute. Is it a nervous one as well? Because particularly from you know when when we saw Russ take over a, over a year ago, now it was a system that he brought in. It was certainly one that had people with their hearts in their mouths. I mean, I know MK Don's fans are probably a little bit more used to it now. But for you playing it, is it was it was it nervous those first few times? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, like I say, it's probably different to Cambridge because you know if I lose the ball in the middle of the pitch the way we play, it's we're very open and you know it's a good chance for them to score. So there is pressure on my shoulders, but um, you know I've got good players around me, so I can trust them with the ball and you know it just gives me that freedom to play my own game. And having someone like Dean Lewington next year, you know. Certainly, the experience that um, that you can draw from. Yeah, brilliant. He's been brilliant. To be fair, he's helped me massively. Um, you know, just such an experienced head. He's he's given me advice, and you know, I'm sure he'll continue to help me as well. You mentioned uh, about fitting in there. I mean, it's been you know the, the results have certainly come your way since uh, since joining the club. I mean, is it is it easier fitting in when when a team's doing well? Yeah, it is. Um, but credit to the boys, you know, the Gaffer and, and Lukey, they've been all been brilliant with me, everyone. Um, so it's been quite an easy transition, to be fair. Um, and yeah, credit to all of them for helping me settle in so well. I don't know how much attention you pay to, to social media, but the fans are certainly um, very excited about the way you, you fit in. I mean, it, obviously, given that you've not been allowed to play in front of them this season, it's um, obviously been a, a very strange time for everybody. But that must make you feel great that, you know, the supporters are, are big fans of yours already. Yeah, it's a shame that they're, they're not here at the stadium to watch, but you know, to see the positive comments on social media and whatever, it's, it's nice to nice to see, which really gives you a confidence boost as well. Well, where can MK Dons go this season? I mean, you know, they're, they're 13th in the table at the minute. It's not, not, it wasn't a great start to the season, but I think since around November sort of time they've picked up results. Obviously, in the, in the last few games, it's, it's it's all been positive stuff. Is it looking at the playoffs at the minute, or is that is that a little bit too far out of reach? Do you think? Uh, I think we, look, we just got to take every game game by game. Um, as cliche as that, that's probably a boring answer for you, but um, that is the answer. You know, we can't look too much too far ahead because you know we could we could get lost. Um, so you know we just got to keep going as we are, um, and just play it by ear and keep keep going and look forward to the next game. It certainly must have been a great feeling coming back um, on the bus on on Saturday night. It was certainly some performance as well. The, the the morale in the camp must be must be buzzing at the moment. Yeah, we had a great week to be fair last week. You know Rochdale away and then Hull away. Um, it's a lot of travelling, um, and they were both tough games. Um, but yeah, it was a great week for us and yeah, it's, it's really high at the minute and hopefully it continues. It's been pretty relentless for you. It feels like it's been Saturday, Tuesday since, since you arrived. Quite nice to get a, a week of training in. Yes, yeah, nice to have a little bit of a rest, you know, rest your legs a little bit. Um, but look, that's, that's, that's the job, um, especially with COVID this year and the, the different, different circumstances around the league. You know, that's just, this happens with every team, not just us, so... You know, we just got to get on with it and do as best we can. Northampton is obviously a team that, that um, very familiar to MK Dons this season. I think it's the fourth time that, that we're going to be playing them, and you know, it's, it's there's always going to be something a little extra riding on these these local derbies. I mean, how, how do you, I mean, you guys obviously won't prepare any differently for it, but it's, it's I suppose it's something that, that bubbles on in the back of your mind. Yeah, no, like you say, you know, we'll prepare exactly the same. Um, but obviously, you know, they're we know that it's a derby and 
how much it will mean to the fans. So, you know, we, like I said, we'll prepare the same, but we know how much it means and hopefully we can get the three points. And that's it, ultimately, another three points towards the, the cause of, of getting further up that table. Yeah, exactly. You know, we've got to want to win every game, no matter who we're playing. Um, and then hopefully by the end of the season, we'll, we'll see where we end up.